All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to catch a ton, and I mean a ton of trout. Big, beautiful cutthroat trout. Get this one through the ice. Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Catfish right there. Okay, as I mentioned, this video is all about how to catch big, beautiful trout. Now, you guys know me, I'm Josh Bendoski, founder of BendoskiPowerFishing.com and home of the Bendoski Power Fishing subscription box where we put all the different lures and things that we use in all my YouTube videos inside of this box. It's a monthly subscription, $16.99 a month, about $30 worth of gear that you get. Super, super good value. And I'm gonna show you all about the lures that we used in this whole video, and we used a lot of them in just a second. So this video is all about how to catch big, beautiful trout drift fishing. Now, if you don't know what drift fishing is, drift fishing is where you are on some kind of either a boat, a kayak, a raft, we happen to be on a raft on this one, and it's where you go into the wind, you drive into the wind or you paddle into the wind, however you get into the wind, and then you let the wind push you. And you just put your poles out, and you jig one, one of them you jig, and then the other pole just dead sticks, but because the boat is drifting, your dead stick is actually jigging as well, right? As the motion of the wave and the wind, it sits and jigs, and then you're actively casting and jigging your second pole, right? So that's how we did it, we, did two, we run two poles. Now, with uh, the setups that we were using there, as I mentioned, we use the velocity rod no combos, and then this, the other pole that I use is my medium action velocity rod and reel combo. So we have both these rod and reel combos. They're available on the website, bedoskypowerfishing.com. Check them out, they're phenomenal rod and reel combos. Um, and on both of them, I run 20 pound braid, to a, a double uni knot, this one's set up this way, a double uni knot. So you run uh, to an, about an eight pound or a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. And then down to uh, a, usually a swivel so I can swap it out or, or sometimes I don't use a swivel, it just kind of really depends. So we wanted to go on this specific trip and show a lot of the different uh, stuff that comes in the box, in the different months of the boxes. Obviously it doesn't all come in one month. Um, but we wanted to show Lots of different techniques on, on how to catch fish um, in this situation at, at uh, this specific lake that we we're at. So the first thing is we use these tube jigs. This is about a three inch tube jig, glow in the dark, chartreuse drip tube jig with a quarter ounce jig head on it, tipped with a night crawl, tipped with about a half inch of a night crawl. And I'll roll footage over here um, of exactly how we set that up while we were out there. Um, but these come in the Bendoski Power Fishing Box, actually the first month, these come in the, the, the Bendoski Power Fishing Box. So those work really, really well. And if you've seen my, uh, I have a video that I, I'll put a link in the description, where we caught over a hundred cutthroat trout on, <clears throat> on a specific fishing trip with this system. The other thing that was working really, really well was just a, a bear hook, a number two bear hook. These are Bendoski Power Fishing hooks, but yeah, any hook really, uh, you know, number two or smaller if you're going to go for trout. But just a bear hook with a minnow, uh, with, a, with a dead minnow. You can buy them at the, the local store, they come frozen. Uh, that works phenomenally well. If you see some of my other shore fishing videos, we use minnows very, very often. We use minnows. And so just a bear hook on the end of your fluorocarbon. So in that scenario, with that setup, 20 pound braid, double uni knot, fluorocarbon, just to a bear hook tipped with a minnow. And that one, usually you wouldn't jig. That is usually going to be your dead stick. That's the one that the boat is just going to be drifting. Um, with that pole. The other thing that was working really, really good up at Strawberry, um, which is interesting because we use these spoons, gold spoons. We use these all the time. Uh, this is a Bendoski Power Fishing one, but we use these all the time in a lot of different applications. And Strawberry, for, for, uh, you know, for whatever reason, gold is the ticket. And in some, some places it's different, like Utah Lake, one of my favorite places, and even Rockport is another place where silver spoons are the ticket. So, uh, but happen to be, happens to be Strawberry, 
gold is the ticket, gold spoons. Um, then the other thing that was working really, really well, and you see these, these come in the Vandosky Power Fishing Box as well. This is called the Kokanee Killer. It is a trout, uh, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's made for trolling, but I use it drift fishing quite often, and I've caught a lot of fish just drift fishing with this. It's also a great trolling uh, lure, uh, which is actually what it's made for, but I always uh, drift fish with it and tip it with either a minnow or a nightcrawler, and this thing, it, it, this thing slams them, I'll tell you what. I catch a lot of fish on the, on the coconut killer, and this comes in the Bendoski box as well. The other thing that was working were marabous. Uh, white marabou, this comes in the Bendoski Power Fishing Box, one of the months. White marabou jigs work really, really well uh, up at Strawberry as well. And then the last thing that we, oh, and so this, let me tell you how you tie these on. Coconut killer just obviously just tied straight onto your fluorocarbon. And, um, and if you want to get it down, you can put like a, a bullet weight um, in between, a, um, above your, sort of like this. See how this bubble is above a, this bubble happens to be on the braid, on the 20 pound braid, above a swivel. The swivel keeps it there so that when the fish grabs it, especially when you're shore fishing, the, the fish grabs it, that bubble doesn't, it doesn't feel the weight of it. So the, the, the fish can take the, the bait, a minnow or whatever, and this doesn't, it, it doesn't feel the, the weight of this when you're shore fishing. Now, in this application, it doesn't, it, that's a little bit different because the way it's just to get it down a little bit further and then this thing is kind of behind the weight jigging so the weight is going to drop itself pretty, the, the, the ball weight, like if this was a, you could use this too, you could use bubble, but uh, I would use a, a metal weight that is a slip weight like this, just has a hole in it. Um, I don't have one in the front of it, I'll show it to you, but anyway, same process, you just put the weight on there so it slips like this and then the coconut killer you hook on to about a two foot fluorocarbon leader, okay? And so the coconut killer gets down in the water a little bit, a little further, so it's not, you know, you know two or three feet down, because they're, they're not super heavy. They don't have a lot of weight to them themselves. Like I said, they're made for trolling. Um, and so the weight pulls it down into the water column a little bit, and then it's behind the weight, like this. So here's the weight, this is the weight, and then this, this, the thing's kind of drifting over here. The weight just pulls it down to the water column. So that's a great way. This is coconut killer is phenomenal, and that's how you set that one up. And the marabou, we just put that straight on the end of the fluorocarbon. So if you had this, this has a, a, a jig head on it right now, but you just have your fluorocarbon leader, and then on the end, you'd have, you just put on your marabou. This happens to be tied directly onto a jig head, but sometimes I'll put a, a swivel down here so that you can swap out your, your lures a lot quicker. But the white marabous were killing it as well. Terrence used the white marabou and, and got quite a few fish that way. And then the last thing that was working really well were spinners, uh, gold spinners. This happens to be a Bendoski power fishing spinner, but gold spinners were working phenomenally, phenomenally well. Uh, and so we caught so many fish, um, big, big, beautiful fish, big cutthroats. Um, really nice, some nice, really good rainbows. Um, and so, you know, at, at Strawberry, there's some regulations on the cutthroats. There's a slot limit and things like that. We did get some slot busters, but uh, we generally take home the rainbows to eat. And so we've got a couple of videos on how to clean uh, rainbows and how to um, cook rainbows as well. So just a phenomenal, phenomenal trip. Um, drift fishing, so kind of just to recap here, you have one dead stick and that is just the boat kind of floating that bait or lure along. And then you're casting with your other pole. So you, it may be a spoon that you're, that you're jigging, you know, you're, you're whipping a spoon or you're whipping one of the, the tube jigs. You know, there's a lot of different ways uh, and styles of hitting it. And because we did so many different techniques in this video, I'm not gonna go over exactly how to use each one. You can go into my video library and see how we specifically use tube jigs. You know, and to see how we specifically, you know, whip the spoons, uh, you know, uh, or the minnows. And I kind of went over how to use the coconut killer in this one. But that's what we used. We did an array of stuff uh, on this day. Me and Terrence, Terrence Pro Team member. Love going out fishing with him. And so just wanted to share that with you guys and give you some tips on how to drift fish. And I wanted to show there's a lot of different things that can work. And... A lot of times, what you'll when this they happen to be just biting everything, and we just were having just such a blast. 
but some days when the bite is tough or if, if you're out there and you're frustrated let's say that you go out there and you say okay I saw Josh catch a bunch with a golden spoon I'm gonna use a golden spoon and you're not catching fish then you want to start switching things up and, and that's why the Bendowski Power Fishing Box is such a great uh, product is because we send you all the different stuff that we use so you know all these things come in the boxes D different things every month you know each box comes with about thirty dollars worth of stuff but you know overall it gives you the arsenal so if you watch our videos and you see us oh he switched from uh, the white marabou to the gold spoon and then he started catching fish again and so it just uh, you know getting a, getting the box not to back pound it into the head of his head here but it's just a good idea if not you know you can always go to Walmart and pay full retail price and you know get the same amount of stuff for 30 bucks um, but we just like to give you guys a deal and we like to help you guys catch as many fish as possible and we're just excited to, uh, to see everyone's success. We love seeing your posts when people post and, and tag Bendowski Power Fishing. I love that. And anyways, just uh, get out there and catch yourself a ton. And I mean a ton of fish.
Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Catfish right there.